There's no secret. There's no shortcut. Everything that is alive is conscious. Be silent. Be still and know God. Until you feel worthy, it ain't going to happen. Rigorous, ruthless, disciplined focus. You have to get to a place where you can work on yourself. If you are looking to live at the tip of the spear when it comes to health optimization, join my private membership group, Fully Optimized Health. Dot com and get the latest and greatest on hormone optimization, peptides, fitness, fat loss, and most importantly, raising your vibration. Again, go over to fullyoptimizedhealth.com and sign up today. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you may be around the world. I am Jay Campbell, and of course, you are watching the Jay Campbell Podcast. And I'm very excited to debate today to be joined in my virtual StreamYard studio with a little bit of technical problems early with the one and only Dr. Carl Rothschild, who is the author of Illuminated Healing, which is not next to me right now. But Dr. Carl, it's such an honor to have you here today. How are you? I'm great. And my book's right uh, on that side. It's right, right behind me. But like, it's in my hand, and I think my tech guy just literally took it up and a text him real quick to bring it back. But anyway, it's awesome to have you here. You guys who don't know Carl... He is literally one of the fathers of red light therapy and infrared light therapy. He's been in the game a long time. I'm going to get into a very deep, profound, uh, knowledge-based podcast here today discussing with him the industry and what people think about red light and what's actually true. But let me give you his bio. He's a board-certified chiropractor, a healer. By the way, Carl, I didn't tell you this, but I've been seeing a chiropractor for 27 years, many actually. Uh, and the founder of Lycomilk Technologies slash Trifecta Light, which is, it, again, is a red light therapy company that offers full body, professional grade light therapy devices. He discovered the power of red light therapy over 20 years ago when it was first introduced and has been healing pe people with it ever since. Now, I want to just say this to, to set the record straight on this show to my audience, to the people, obviously, that follow me. And there are a significant amount. Um, and this, I know this is going to reverberate. Um, it is now my knowledge and my knowing that the majority of red light devices that are in the American public, and let's just call it the westernized part of the world, are probably not delivering measurable results relative to their marketing and their advertising. Uh, because again, as a person who used Jew was a Juve ambassador, I technically still am. I mean, I'm not, there's nothing holding me from not doing it, but not actively marketing them. Um, the results that I have received, as you know, Carl, with using uh, another high-end competitor to you, which is Ultra Slim, which I think is Ward Photonics or Biophotonics or whatever their name is called, have blown me away. I have been only using it now for 13 days, um, and I'm just astonished at the results that I've received, not just from fat loss, but from enhancing my uh, weight training and energy, um, tightening up my skin in certain areas of my body. And again, it's just a panel. Obviously, your technology is a is a is um, like a what you would call a pod or a, a giant bed. Uh, and we're going to get to that. But I, I'm just literally blown away. And so obviously, I started doing my research in the last couple of weeks. And I stumbled upon your company and your technology. And obviously I reached out to uh, your company and I was responded to by Meredith, who is, I think your vice president of sales. Is that her title? Yes. And she luckily for me connected me with you and here we are today. And obviously I'm going to allow you to present your story, but uh, I want people to know before we get drilled deep down and get granular here that most of you are using most likely red light devices that are not producing the results that you would anticipate. Now, again, I don't want to throw shade on the entire red light industry, but unfortunately results do differentiate <laughs> and you can get a better experience with a higher grade red light technology. And that's what Dr. Carl's going to talk about today. So I set you up. Um, obviously, can you just give us your backstory and you know how you found out about red light and then we can really drill down deep. So I started as a chiropractor 45 years ago. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, this is my 45th year. And um, I was successful. I did well. Uh, but then about 25 years <coughs> 25 years ago, I was introduced to light therapy. And I didn't go into it going, well, yeah, this makes a lot of sense. At that point, I've been in practice for 20 years. 
And uh, some guy goes and says, well, if you shine a light on somebody, it's going to make a difference. And to be honest with you, I was highly skeptical. But my then partner of sorts, uh, who's from another country, uh, where light therapy and acupuncture and things like that, alternative health care, uh, has a bigger role than in this country. Um, and that has to do with drugs and surgery, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> Absolutely correct. If you're, if you're in a nation that's interested in healing people, you might look into other things. If you're a nation <laughs> that wants to make a lot of money, um, you know, you've got some, a lot of competition with the money world. So at any rate, um, so we brought it in and the device that we were using back then, which was the first one brought into the United States, um, was one over a hundred thousand times weaker than what we currently use. Unreal. And even so we had reasonably good results. Um, and they still sell devices like that, that you'll get reasonably good results. And that was fun. It was fine. At the time it was a state of the art equipment. And then we, you know, I proceeded to grow and go from that was a class one device. We went to a class two device. We went to a class three device and eventually went to a class four. Class four is very strong. Um, if you change the head on a class four, you're doing surgery. And uh, so we had some great results, but you're talking about a head that's like this big. And so we decided about 12 years ago, I decided to get involved with manufacturing. Now, one of the reasons I decided to get in manufacturing, and we'll table that conversation a little bit later, but um, or for a little bit later, but we discovered about 12 years ago that there was an element of light that actually changed the fat cell wall temporarily and allowed the fat contents to leak out. A completely different mechanism than what we were talking about starting 25 years ago about healing and about contouring and tightening skin and all the in the in the world of healing. So there's two mechanisms. There's the healing mechanism and there's the fat loss mechanism. Completely different um, technically. And we can talk about that in a little while. But at any rate, so 12 years ago, when I heard about that, re realized that red light can actually change that fat cell wall temporarily. You're not damaging it. You're not freezing it. You're not boiling it. You're not cutting it out. You're not putting it in there to dissolve it. It just temporarily changes the fat cell wall, allows the content to leak out. And with our certain protocol, you'll move that fat away from the fat cell, eventually to the lymphatic system, and eventually, eventually to the liver for use or elimination. Um, and that's when I said, okay, you know, I want to much more heavily get involved with this. And so I started in manufacturing. And uh, we started with uh, working with companies with lasers and little devices. Then we decided to do pads for a whole bunch of different reasons. Um, so we were moving away from lasers to LEDs. 12 years ago, no question about lasers were more powerful than LEDs. That's no longer an issue. But but there was a problem, especially in, I, in uh, California, where I am, um, lasers had much more restrictions on it than LEDs. If you look up LEDs uh, with the FDA, they declared it as ordinary light. So if you know, people say, well, how dangerous is LEDs or diodes or anything like that? So if you can walk in the room and turn in the lights to the room, <laughs> you can use our equipment, especially get in the bed. Right. About that, so we were having very nice success over those years, starting about 12 years ago with manufacturing. And I'll talk in a little while about the difference between red and near infrared. Um, but something happened to this whole world, and that's called COVID, that changed a lot of stuff. And our providers wanted less physical contact between the patient and the provider. So imagine now, with, and we made the bed. So imagine now someone can come into the office they walk into the room where the bed is. They do, you know, they strip down. They get in the bed themselves. They get out of the bed themselves. They get dressed and out of the room. So you don't need physical contact between the patient and the provider. Um, and so it's very convenient. It takes less time. But, but we did not anticipate the following. Because you've experienced panels on the wall and you've right. experienced pads, maybe lasers right. and all that. But what we started realizing 
was this hum within a month of us shipping out our first series of beds, we were getting feedback where people were calling us up and saying, okay, yeah, great for fat loss and nice with healing and the elbow, whatever. But what about all these other things? What were you talking about? How about Parkinson's, dementia, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis? How about Crohn's disease, autoimmune disease? We have a gentleman that had a heart attack. No, let me rephrase that. He was having a heart attack all the time, once a week, sometimes twice a week. I'd never heard of such a thing. Uh, having a heart attack and dying. And he would have had 12 years ago, his congestive heart failure was so severe, they implanted into his chest a defibrillator, which is that thing that they would use when you go to the hospital and they go, okay, it's clear, right. and zap you. Well, he had it in his chest. Now, I, I never interviewed him. I'm thinking if he's, you know, if he gets zapped and someone's holding his hand, I'm wondering if they get electrocuted. But at any rate, he would be electrocuted on a regular basis to bring him back to life. His circulation was miserable. His life was miserable. I mean, he, he took it so well. When I interviewed him, it was like, it was just a very matter of fact. You know, I would be in tears thinking about, I'm about to die every time you have a heart attack. So his provider calls me up, not provider yet, but this guy says, look, at I'm having a patient coming in uh, tomorrow and uh, he's having heart attacks regularly. And I said, so that guy wanted to know, should he even treat him? And I said, let's just do five minutes and stay in the room the whole time. Cause you know, maybe if he has a catastrophic event, you might want to be in there to help him out or whatever. Well, nothing happened bad. Five minutes. The guy went home. It was, I didn't know this. It was 70 miles each way. And I get a phone call the next day from, with the provider and that patient on the phone at the same time. And that five minute session changed his life awesome. ever since. He's not had a heart attack since. Uh, he's getting on the bed as regularly as he can. And as it turns out, Again, he was 70 miles away. It was a big deal getting 70 miles there, 70 miles back. So what he did was he created a, a team and they purchased a bed and they have one now out there in Palmdale, California um, that he uses obviously for himself, but he also has a business now. And he's, in, he's crazy about it. I mean, he goes, imagine this guy. He could go to his church where the pastor is. He goes up to the pastor and he says, Hey, remember me? I had a heart attack, and I had a heart attack in your church. Look at me now. And people would come up to him, and if you watch the video, I'm going to tell you all to go to our Trifecta uh, YouTube channel, and it's incredible. Yeah. <clears throat> what people will hear and see is just amazing, the kind of interviews and feedback that we've gotten. But anyway, any rate, that's why the bed has pretty much taken over. So we still manufacture pad system, uh, but the bed, you know, is so comprehensive. Not only do you get the fat loss, but all these other things. Yeah. Someone that's diabetic, we're noticing that they'll need less insulin. Someone who's on dialysis, uh, you could just imagine the kind of results we had. This one lady, Janet, that was having, she was in stage four renal failure, kidney failure. And now she's not in a relatively short period of time. That stopped. And with the bed, I mean, I, I, we're, we're going in a lot of different places here, which is fine. It's conversational. But with the bed for just general overall wellness and healing, well-being enhancement, like what is your recommendation daily for the amount of time in the bed? So I have one here in my home. I get in it three times a week. And uh, that's maintenance, in my opinion. Sure. I'm going to I'm going to say something and I hope I don't get myself in trouble. But if <laughs> if everyone podcast so you can say whatever you want here, there's no censorship. I know that doesn't mean I'm not going to get in trouble. So um, <laughs> what I'm going to tell you is that I'm going to try to word this the right way. So if everyone got in the bed at least once a week, if not three times a week, who don't have problems or do have problems either way. Right. The amount of hospital stay, the amount of drugs needed, and the amount of surgeries would drop unbelievably. 90%? <laughs> At least. I mean, the yeah. people that we're working with, I mean, there's one video on there. Her name is Jessica. And if I want, I, I welcome you all to go to the website. I'm sorry, the, the YouTube channel. Well, we'll link to it. We'll link to it in the show notes. I'll have a link to it. Okay. 
Actually, you know what? If they go to the website, trifectalight.com, and go to the page that says testimonials, on the top of that is the, you just click on it, it takes you to the YouTube channel. And watch one of the videos is Jan, uh, is uh, Jessica. Now, Jessica, I think there's an unlimited number of issues that she's had over these last 20, 30 years. I mean, everything you could think of. She was, she had migraines. She had Crohn, uh, Lyme disease, shingles three forms of psoriasis. She's had thyroid. I mean, everything. It was just, I listed it all. It was unbelievable. Yeah. The number of things that she had. Um, and to get a chance to watch that video, it's, it's blows your mind. It blows my mind. So what I was saying to you is that that many years ago, when we came out with the bed, I was getting blown away and not anticipating these things. And what, yeah. what it's obvious now is that when you cover the entire body, the entire body at the same time, you're going to get these kind of results. So if someone just wants to feel good and, you know, feel whatever, they can do all these other types of things. But if you want to really change your life dramatically, whether you have an issue or don't want to have an issue, you get in the bed regularly. Now, if I have somebody that has an extreme, extremely bad problem, yeah, we'll see them one or two times a day. Yeah. Yeah, and what, but, what would that be? Well, from a time standpoint, again, in your bed, uh, for someone extreme pain, in, suffering from severe inflammation, maybe even traumatized, acute injury, would you have them do like two eight-minute sessions, two six-minute sessions, two twelve-minute sessions? Like, what would it be? So a dose is twelve minutes. Yeah. Uh, so someone might think, well, then why don't I do twenty-four minutes? That's a double dose. No, you do twelve right. minutes, right. and if we're going to do another dose, we'll wait a, an hour or so between each dose and do it again later that day, if right. it's possible. Right. Um, so we had this guy with extreme, uh, really bad Parkinson's. And the medication that he's taken is very severe, very extreme. Um, and that drug gives him one hour a day of being as near normal as possible. And so I told his provider, I said, this guy needs daily, maybe twice a day, for as you know, it might take a month to break yeah. through. Yeah. Um, but we, we've got, I had this one guy, I interviewed him, the patient wouldn't come on. Uh, but Dr. Smith was talking about his patient and the big part, again, Parkinson's, the big issue for her amongst all the other things that she had going wrong with her was the fact that when she went to church, she couldn't hold the Bible because her tremors were so severe. Wow. And within two weeks, those tremors were. They weren't gone, but they were not noticeable. And she could easily hold a book in her hand so, or the Bible. So, you know, that's what people are looking for. It's the changes in their activity, their daily activities that mm -hmm. really bring to mind how handicapped they were and how less of a handicap they are now. So I love it. I mean, listen, I, I got <clears> – <throat> I started in the with healing and health with the notion of it in the early 70s. So I was kind of a hippie of sort, just that I really wanted to help people. I know it sounds yeah. corny, but I, I didn't mind making money, but I wanted to help. No, it and as a kind corny. It doesn't sound corny. I'm just like you, man. It's all about helping people. But as, you know, as a chiropractor, I did well and I helped people, but I never got the following words didn't come out of every one of my, that many, it came out of some time, but now it comes out a lot. And do you hear the words? Thank you for giving me my life back. Yeah. And I get a chill out of that. I mean, you know, there's so many people are saying that or some phrase of that. So Jerisha, who was have, who had a stroke, um, after one session, totally changed her life. So after one session, she could see so many changes. And by the end of the eighth session, she no longer had any signs of ever having had a stroke. And she's one of the first ones that said, and I want to thank you for giving me my life back. Another one was Joey. Joey had an autoimmune disease. It's called Marie. No, it's Charcot Marie tooth disease. I have no idea why it's called that. Sure. Couldn't walk. 15 years of daily pain. And after six, can you see six, yeah. six, whatever, six sessions, um, he's walking, he's walking his dog for the first time ever. Uh, he's on the treadmill, bicycling, all that sort of stuff. 
So that's autoimmune. I mean, it just goes on and on. I could, I got stories. Yeah, no, no, all all over the place. To them. I, I want to drill down a little bit deeper. So, so this just brings up then the next point, which I think is really important. If we can clarify anything on this podcast about the marketplace and the competition, and you know, we'll get deeper down about trifecta and your technology later. But why is the red light industry not? giving why are we not hearing so much like the these kind of like miraculous healing recoveries and look i i want to set the record straight i mean i was a juve ambassador i technically still am a juve ambassador there are many other companies that have sent me red light devices my wife and i stood in front of the juve panel for years literally we never noticed anything like we've noticed like i said with the ultra slim in which i will know for sure i will be once i start using your device uh the same why, why are people like, what is going on in that industry? Like, why are there companies out there offering technologies that don't offer the same kind of healing? Like, is it just a marketing game? Is it, you know, Chinese cheaper technologies? I mean, I, you know, I'm, I, I, I struggle to wrap my mind around what's really happening. So, you know, you can buy shoes online for $2, right? From China. <laughs> yeah. Is that a good idea? I don't know. You could think about it. I think you're going to wind up. Look, I loved my mother. She passed away. I'm sorry to hear that or say that. But she would buy clothing from John's Bargain Store in Brooklyn, New York. And so the underwear would last one washing. <laughs> Was that a good idea? I don't know. I mean, I can't speak to... You know, it makes sense. Why do people have cheaper stuff? It's because people, they think this is a cost. What they don't understand is that it's a, it's an investment and it's a savings. Let me, let me give you an example. Guy delivered my equipment here at my home. And he said, what is this? I said, well, it's the new, you know, because now I have the, the most greatest, the 450 now yeah. here. And he brought the 450 in with his crew. And uh, he said, what is this? I said, you know, it helps this, does all that. And he says, well, you think it can help my wife? Now, this is not a wealthy man. He's just one of the employees there. And uh, he said, do you think it helped my wife? She has rheumatoid arthritis. I went, absolutely. I'm hearing phenomenal things about rheumatoid arthritis and all the other autoimmune diseases. And uh, he says, well, he averages $2,000 a month copay for his wife's medication. So it's not about how much something costs. It's about priority and it's about belief. So I have my wife's Persian and we're going to have a party here tonight. And I'm going to tell you that there's going to be somebody who's going to have a purse that they don't want to put on the floor because it's $40,000 or whatever. And it's about priorities. What is important to you? To me, my, I think you don't have anything if you don't have your help. And so I will put my mouth and my money in the world of health and well-being. And I guarantee you that if somebody has an issue, they get in the bed. And maybe I shouldn't use the word guarantee. I will almost guarantee it. I mean, I, I haven't heard I anybody that hasn't had Actually, I would guarantee it based on my experience, again, with this intensity of red light. But let me just, because what you're saying, look, I know, right? But the, the point of this podcast is to, to de-brainwash or defrag the public because the public's expectation of red light is what they've gotten for the $200 device or the $50 device and the beam or whatever, you know, the, the mass marketed stuff, the big names in the red light industry are. And again, as you and I were saying, when we talked for the first time the other day, and I've had conversations with other influencers recently, cause I've been going deep onto this and everybody's kind of like, well, you know, in truth, I never really noticed much. And again, without, you know, dropping bombs on certain brands, it's the same from everybody. Well, you yeah, know, I had one in my house and I never noticed anything. But like, like I said, when you use this intensity of red light, A, it's not cheap. And B, the effects are so profound. I mean, you've already told us the stories of people with one, two, three, six sessions. I mean, literally for me, you know, I've had eight sessions in 14 days and it's radically changed my physique. So, I mean, I'm living proof that what you're saying is true, but I just... It's important that we have to defrag the minds of the public because the public who's been in the red light industry, the elite biohacking people, they don't think it's as profound as what you and I are talking about. I know. Listen, um, I've had 15 practices. I've lectured all over the country. And I will tell you that I had a lot of 
good stuff in my life. I had whole body vibration. Good. I like it. It's really nice. Hyperbaric chamber, um, <clears throat> all kinds of different therapies. They were always good. And I would tell people, I, I never really hit a home run, so right. to speak. I was like, I got a double sometime, you know, with, with the kind sure. of technology, the therapies and all that sort of stuff. Yes. And then I got started getting even the, listen, our early red light lights, which were really near infrared, um, they were good. They were good. We had nice results, nice results. It was the bed that took us to a whole nother level. It went from nice to, wow, unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. So imagine, I don't want to mention any names anymore, the right. one that starts with a J or the <laughs> one that starts with a U. I'm not here to besmirch anybody. I'm telling you, number one, if you're not using red light therapy in your life, it's a mistake. If you're not yeah. using the best, most comprehensive, I think that's kind of a mistake also. But I will tell you something. The more severe the person's problem is, I want you to listen to this. The more severe their problem is, the more dramatic the results are yeah. after a right. relatively short period of time. So if someone is healthy, they don't have any issues, and they get in our bed, they might come out going, eh, it was nice. But if you have a problem, a severe problem, and there are nine divisions to our company, which I would, wouldn't mind going over with you later. Yeah. Um, but in that, within that, if is athletes, for example, if they get in the bed before their athletic endeavor, whether it's basketball, football, whatever, if they get in the bed first, they will perform much better. Right. right. Now, right. if they get in the bed afterwards, they will recover much more thoroughly and much more, much faster. Yeah. So, you know, I, I don't, I, I'm crazy. I'm crazy about this stuff. That's why I wrote the book. Yeah. You know, there's so much misunderstanding and there's, uh, there's confusion, I, yeah. you know, and the reason why I wrote the book is just, first of all, people don't even understand that's a huge difference between three different things. One is red light. Yeah. One is near infrared yeah. and one is infrared. Right. When people talk about infrared, they're talking about a thing called far infrared. By default, in this country, when people call about talk about infrared, they're talking about this term far infrared. Far yeah. infrared's good. I like it. It's great to generate heat, but it doesn't do what I'm going to tell you the difference, what near infrared does. It's near infrared that is so glorious. It's near infrared that makes the amazing changes. So far infrared creates the heat. So people are talking about far infrared saunas and they're thinking that that's equivalent. And remember, heat is the absolute enemy. If your device is getting heat, that's why these devices are on the wall and you have to be a distance away because they generate so much heat. Right. One of the reasons. Um, we have perfected the lights for now. Uh, when I say perfected, I'm assuming two years from now, they'll be even better. But the goal has always been to be really powerful, but not hot. And that has always been the goal. And that's why I tell you that the device that we created 25 years ago, which was fine, um, would, had a maximum amount of power it could have before it generated heat. Now we have devices that is over 100,000 times more powerful without generating un unnecessary heat. So let's talk about what heat does. It dilates blood vessels. It brings right. more blood to the surface, right. blocks the penetration of light. You don't want that. You don't right. want the heat. So when you get off of our bed, you should be feeling warm, not hot, and it should be comfortably warm. Yeah. And the bed is completely customizable, so you can actually change the power based on a tiny little person who can absorb and take less than someone who's 400 pounds. Right, right. So, you know, you can have, you can customize it specifically for the individual. And then the other thing, as you might know, Am I talking too much? <laughs> no, you're amazing. Keep going. I'll, I'll shut you down if you need to be shut down. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other thing is the fact that we can pulse the wave. People talk about frequency. Yes. There are two things they should know about wavelength. Yep. And our bed has near infrared and red. Yep. And the near it's the near infrared that's so healing. It has the red in there because that's what shrinks the fat cells and also helps with healing as well. Right, right. That's wavelengths. So people confuse that with the word frequency. They go, what kind of frequency do you have in your bed? They're thinking, they're thinking wavelength. Now, frequency is how it pulses. Right. <laughs> and uh, we can modify the pulsations from no pulsations all the way up to 5,000 beats per second. And what some of your audience might know, and if they don't know, they can learn about, 
is about resonating frequency, which will different frequencies will resonate with different tissues in your body. Right. So the liver has a different frequency than the kidney has a different frequency. However, there is a universal frequency that I start everybody off with, which is the 528 hertz. That's 528 beats per second. And that resonates beautifully with the, with the entire body. And that's where we're getting a lot of our feedback based on 528 hertz. Um, if we're looking at fat loss, we're going to be looking at 295.8 because that's wonderful for the liver, for elimination and, and things like that. So remember, red is a little bit healing, but it's more for the fat loss. And near infrared is more for the overall healing and really doesn't do much for fat loss at all. And we're not talking subtle. I mean, if you've seen the Ultra Slam, which I love dude, that dude, for the little amazing. area that it does, um, now just magnif mag uh, you, you multiply that the whole body. Amplify by like the whole 10 body. times, and now you're covering the whole body. Right. And that's the difference. We have the equivalent of an Ultra Slam, and it's nice. It does really nicely. But we're not, we didn't, the whole time, we never got this kind of feedback that we're getting now, now that a few years ago when we came out with the bed. Well, and look, it was by accident I, because of COVID. I just want to state for the record again, I'm 14 days into the ultra slips. I haven't even used your technology yet, but I already know it's better and I can't wait. And obviously we're working on making that happen pretty soon. Uh, okay. I do want to talk about your book. Um, obviously this guy who wrote this book, this is a great book too. You know, uh, Ari is a very close personal friend of mine. He's been on this podcast. I've been on his podcast. Um, your book does a better job. I mean, again, it's a little bit later. He, he though, to his credit in 2018, when this book came out, said the same thing that you and I are talking about, which again, is just how people gloss over this stuff is mind blowing. But he basically said the same thing. He said, Hey, look, I'm just here to tell you that majority of red light devices that you could potentially buy in the marketplace won't do jack shit. And he said it. He was very honest, right? But for some reason, they continue to proliferate. They continue to become ubiquitous. You know, you now you can go into the back of Sharper Image or you know any of the malls, and everybody's got red light. I mean, you go to Mexico and they're selling red light devices in the pharmacies on the Mexican shopping streets, right? But the truth is, is like you said, is that to have a high quality red light device and near infrared light device, it's not cheap because to deliver that type of power costs money, but. I want to talk a little bit about your book but before I jump into your book. Cause, and by the way, you did, this is an amazing job. Great job. Thank um, you. There's a lot of good information in this book. Like just your, just your chapter on fat loss alone uh, is profound. You've covered every aspect. You even talked about uh, uh, upregulating Acromancia mucillus, which, you know, metformin does a good job, but like ultimately like who, who would have ever thought that, that red light and near infrared light, can literally heal the microbiota, right? But be before I go into your book, which again, you did a great job, Doc, I got to ask you, why are professional sports teams not utilizing red light more so than they, sh than they are? What, what is the reason for that? So I had a deal with um, Pepperdine University. So I'm not going to go into details, but this was many years ago. No we, I had... I had helped the uh, one of the coaches tremendously with his knees. He could, you know, this the, the campus is very spread out, and he couldn't walk comfortably from one end to the campus to the other. And after a short time, and this was years ago with our it's laser, Paul Westfall was it? No, no, no. Okay. That's basketball. Um, this guy was the swimming coach. Oh, <laughs> And so I went to, to Pepperdine. I shook hands with everybody. We were going to come in there, and we got nixed by the medical group. Unreal. Now, if I may, let me tell you the story that I think is very interesting. The guy that brought the whole technology to the United States, his name was Chadwick Smith, right. medical doctor at a USC. Um, and I knew him before lights existed. He decided he was going to bring this. He's a renowned orthopedic surgeon out of that university. And uh, he brought it thinking this was going to make a big difference in the whole medical profession. Sure. And he brought it and, and he said, guys, we can help either avoid surgeries or post-surgically we can assist. Uh, and so guess how many of his colleagues jumped on board with him? 
None. The answer is zero. zero. Yeah. <laughs> but he well, found a home with the chiropractors because it's a natural healing. You know what it's about? It's about sunlight. Right. All we're doing is we're taking four elements of sunlight, magnifying it many times. We're eliminating anything that could possibly be uh, problematic, like UV light or anything like that. Um, and we're magnifying it many times and driving it into the person's body. The worst that can happen with anybody is zero, is nothing. And in the 50 years that they've been re doing research on this technology, there has never been a recorded side effect. And, and so when, when my patient or somebody would say, well, you know, I don't know if I can trust it. It's not in all the hospitals. Why isn't it in the hospitals? Hello. Because in this country, it's not about, how do I say this? It's not just about healing. There are many other aspects. There's a drug out there that you take uh, IV <clears throat> for ulcerative colitis. I had a patient that was getting this. And it wasn't until months later when he got the explanation of benefits from the insurance. One dose of this drug cost $55,000. Wow. One dose. One dose. So how do you compete with such a thing? How do you compete? If somebody can make a bill, you go to the medical doctor, the orthopedist and say, hey, I got a great way for you to make less money. Come over here. I want to tell you about it. Unreal. So you think he's going to want to do that? So if I go to a podiatrist who's non-surgical, they might be interested. And the reason why they wouldn't is the first question, you know what most of these guys ask the first question? Is it covered by insurance? Exactly. That's course. the first question. Of course. They'll do anything. They'll do anything if it's covered by insurance. It's obligated. And, uh, and then the answer is, yeah, but it's, it's uh, the insurance looks at it as unattended light therapy, which right. doesn't pay very well. It's woo. Well, so, so you, you probably know this, and maybe you don't, but this is fascinating to give you the back end on the surgeon. So according to the sales director for UltraSlim, 60% of their clinical patients slash customers, their, their, their business, their marketplace, is plastic surgeons who use it to accelerate the rate of healing. Okay, but you're misunderstanding. That's, that was my target as well. Plastic surgeons were my target. You know why? They're making all their money. They're already doing the surgery. Right. And I would go to them and say, now post-surgically, and this was many years before Ultra Slim even existed, many years before that. I went to them 20 years, at least 20 something years ago, and I had a plastic surgeon and we would go and we would do post rehab. We would laser over the wound, laser right. over the sutures and all that sort of stuff and accelerate the healing dramatically. Um, plastic surgeons are a target for us, but the orthopedic surgeon or anybody, if I went to the plastic surgeon and say, hey, Forget about doing the plastic surgery, only do this, they wouldn't be interested. But when we talk about post rehab, yeah, right. then they're interested. Right. That's yeah. a different animal. Yeah. But it's just interesting though, you know, how the, the, the orthopedic surgeons wouldn't be used, wouldn't be interested in healing for the same reason, right? For PCL, ACL, MCL, all these different surgeries that they do, they would why would you want to not speed up the rate of healing? But again, like you said, it's not covered by insurance, it's not a big enough procedure, it's not what they do. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to get in trouble with all the orthopedists. I'm sorry if you're taking this the wrong way. <laughs> but if you don't have one of my beds in your facility. will watch the show, so have at it, Doc. If you don't have my bed in your facility, and, I, and, and, and we opened up next door to you with everything exactly the same, your facility, and we opened up next door to you, everything exactly the same, but with the bed, we put you out of business. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. I'm going to get myself in trouble for that one, but I'm not saying stop doing what you're doing. I'm right. saying incorporate and integrate with this, this unbelievable healing. Integrate. You know, one of the things with, I want to talk to you about, there's so many things to talk about. You, you know what I should go over is, well, how, what's the mechanism? So I told you that there are two different mechanisms. One is for fat loss and one is for healing. Yep. And when you understand, you know, someone says, well, does it help this condition or that condition? Why, how could it be so comprehensive and help so many different things? Because it gets to the root of the issue, which is the mitochondria. Exactly. Now, I forgive me if you don't know the word mitochondria. I'm going to ask you to look it up. But even me back in the 60s when I went to high school, 
we learned that there was one mitochondria in every cell. So every part of your body is made up of tissues. Every tissue is made up of cells. And every cell has a mitochondria. Well, that yeah. isn't true. Actually, yeah. the heart, for example, has over 5,000 mitochondria in every one of those cells. Yeah. And what they found, and this took a while, that this unique light of in, mostly near infrared yeah. Yeah. penetrates into the cells and is absolutely absorbed in such a way to stimulate mitochondrial function. So what they what they discovered, and you hear the this term mitochondria, mitochondrial dysfunction, was not that common a term just a few years ago. And now I'm hearing it all over the place. So mitochondrial function is what it's about. Stimulating the mitochondria to do what they were supposed to do. It's not about putting anything in the body that doesn't belong there. It's not about yanking anything in the body wow. that does belong in there. Right. It's about stimulating the mitochondria to come back to normal. Right. And when you bring the mitochondria back to normal, almost anything's possible. So when we hear things like rare genetic defects, uh, diseases, this one guy in particular, there's nothing they can do for him. Nothing. Pain. He's losing his eyesight. Migraines. Can't sleep. And now he's much better. Now, the damage that was done to his retina is permanent. That's not going to be reversed. But the, the fact that we got, we, we were able to get involved now with him is that I feel confident that we can halt the progression. Same thing with multiple sclerosis. Right, right. Once it does the damage on the tissues, I don't know if we're going to be able to reverse that, but we first step is to halt the progression. So our multiple sclerosis guys will go to the doctor and the guy will say, it ain't progressing anymore. That's great. And a lot of them will go, well, so the drugs must be kicking in. No, I'm not taking any of those drugs. Right. They don't get it. And you know, here's the mistake with every one of them so far. They go, Wow, this is great. I'm so so glad that the drugs have finally kicked in. No, it's right. not the drug. Oh, it's not the drugs? Whatever you're doing, keep doing. And they, right. stop, they don't even care. <laughs> but they stop there. They don't ask the next thing. Of course. What they should next say is, maybe I should learn about this stuff. Maybe I should incorporate it into my practice, into my business, nope. or at least refer to somebody. So you know what the treatment is for macular degeneration, macular edema, many other things in the eye, uveitis and stuff like that? is an injection in the eyeball. And if you listen to Jessica who describes that process, she says, when that needle's coming to my eye, I, it's the maximum amount of anxiety I've ever experienced. And now she doesn't need that anymore. And how much do you think each one of those injections costs? A good bit. Five, can you see that? Yep. Five, there it is, $5,000 per injection. Five How do you stop God. that? You're not going to stop that. Nope. So, so let's get it back to the mechanism. So you understand that the mechanism is stimulating mitochondria. So when we talk about erectile dysfunction, <clears throat> we're talking about stimulating mitochondria, but also what they have found is that it, the light penetrates the skull, can get to the brain, help with hormones in the brain, also gets to the testes, helps with testosterone man manufacturing. Um, so our erectile dysfunction guys are doing much better if they add the lights. Now, it, it's not like the person can go home and just have the lights and not help. So if they're going to go home and get drunk every night or they're going to eat crap, right. Right. I don't know how much success they're going to have. But if they just go on a normal, I don't know if the word's normal, healthy diet, not an excessive dieting, in, in not talking about starvation. In the Campbell world, it's called insulin-controlled diet. <laughs> I love it. I love it. If you would go on that, and that, listen, I know about fat. I'll bet you, Jay, I know more about fat and fat loss than you do. I was born to a fat family. Oh, no. My mother was an executive of Weight Watchers. I studied the heck out of this stuff. And I know you're a very I, smart guy. I got to give you a lot of credit because, like I said, your fat loss chapter alone in this book is amazing. Continue. But it's, but it's, you know, when people, it's thin people, they go, well, why don't they just stop eating? And when they're hung, when they're, when, it, it's not like that. It, there's so many other Absolutely. crazinesses that are involved yes. with the compulsion and, 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 and need Emotion, to eat like and consume yeah. and all yeah. that sort of stuff. Yeah. And so the lights are not going to replace being smart on your diet but it's going to help a smart diet. So if you Absolutely. want an easier time of losing it. So let me just go over the mechanism of fat loss. It's different. 
Now, how did we discover this? 12 years ago, there was a company out there that was, they were red light only. Now, remember, my company was near infrared only. And we shunned the red light because red light was not as healing. And I still believe that strongly, that near infrared is way stronger from the healing point of view. Right. But we missed out because it was the red light that they discovered Profound. that changed the fat cell wall, allowed the fat contents to leak out. And we didn't know about that. They learned that. That's when I decided to get more involved. So there's a change in the permeability of the fat cell wall, which means that fat cell wall becomes porous and allows the contents just for a day or so to leak out. And it ain't subtle. As you've seen with UltraSlim, the results are not subtle. They're beautiful. Like I said, all you need to do is to magnify that many different times when you have that with a bed. But the, the results are spectacular. They're spectacular. Spectacular. I mean, yeah. literally, so they're not believable, Doc, because again, the average public has not been exp exposed, experienced to this type of light and near infrared light. They just haven't. I mean, again, they're not getting it from the mass market devices that are out there. It's all about money. You know, the same reason why we're never going to, it's going to take us forever to, to stop using oil. Right. Um, if, if we had alternatives, wouldn't that be nice to save the environment? Uh, and I'm not looking to, to harm any industry, but it should slowly be integrated where we kind of move away from things that could damage the environment. In this case, we should maybe slowly integrate natural healing into the process, which is it's, it's going to say, you know, if you're an insurance person, not an agent, but if you're in part of an insurance company and you're not, a proponent of red light therapy, what are you thinking? You imagine how much money can be saved you're insane. if you're using red light therapy. What are you doing? If you like to, to spend that kind of money, $5,000 injections, gazillion dollars for this, that, right. okay, keep doing that. And I understand. But if you wanted to save money for your HMO, if you wanted right. to save money right. for any right. of these companies, um, and you asked me about a sporting company you know you said well why don't more teams have red light therapy because we get nixed by the medical group that right. oversees that right. but it's going to happen they're going to it it's going to be forced you know what's going to happen is some famous months when this podcast gets out there believe me <laughs> well there's going to be if you're an athlete and you're not getting in our bed before each one of your activities you're crazy and, and, and certainly afterwards, if you want to heal, when I watch, you know, I'm, a, I'm out here in California, so I absolutely love the Lakers. And but we got some older guys on that team. If they were using the bed every day before and after their workouts, their games or whatever, we would have um, they, they would be superior uh, th in their performance. I want to tell you something. There's a story coming out of Europe where there's an Olympic t t uh, committee and they were concerned about red light therapy. Have you heard about this? No. You know why they were concerned about red light therapy? They felt that it would give their athletes an unfair advantage over the guy that didn't have red light therapy. Right. Do you, do you right. hear what they're saying there? They're saying exactly what I'm saying. It's yeah. not an unfair advantage. It's, it's an advantage. Yeah. If you're not using it, you're missing out on that wonderful advantage that you should be taking advantage of. Name yeah. any issue you have. And get in the bed and try it. You just need six visits to see. Six visits. At the end of the six visits, if you don't see, at minimum, the light at the end of the tunnel, yeah, <laughs> it might take 12. So let's say one month will most likely change your life. Stroke. You know, I, I can go through the whole thing. Yeah, the guy no, had... No. I mean, 14 days is all for me just, I mean, and again, I'm in really amazing shape. I mean, you know, I'm one of the top biohackers. And so like, I know what to do. I live controlled. I optimize my hormones. I, I train correctly. I get sleep. I do everything necessary. And like I said, like just with the panel of ultra slim at that intensity of red light, the, the change, the profound changes it did to visceral body fat, to tightening my skin, to making me feel better, you know, to, to echo what you said. I mean, I have started using it in the morning pre prior to my lifting, my, my training sessions, and I am stronger in the gym. Uh, I have more energy in the gym. And, and, and look, you know, to, to echo what you were saying, I mean, I have not changed my diet at all in two weeks. And I am the leanest I probably have ever been since I probably was close to stepping on stage competing 
which was more than 12 years ago. I mean, I'm 52 now. And last time I did any of that was when I was 40, but my wife was gone. So the divide, the ultra slim came to us. I haven't told you this on Wednesday and she left the same night to go back to San Diego to watch her daughter play. Cause her daughter goes to school. At, um, Point Loma is an all American college soccer player there. And she was gone for 10 days. And when I picked her up last Saturday at the airport, she looked at me and she said, what in the f- what's going on? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she's like, she's like you're, you've lost so much weight. And I'm like, I haven't lost any weight at all. I'm like exact same in scale. And she's like, no, you're just leaner. And I said, yeah. it's the That's thing. important to understand. It's not about losing weight. It's about lose, uh, tightening the skin and losing exactly. fat. I mean, I looked younger to her. Which I have not really, I probably lost like maybe a pound and a half on the scale, but I mean, it doesn't matter, but I'm visibly leaner, visibly more energized, visibly younger looking for all the reasons that the red light offers you. So, I mean, I already know this is true. So you're right. You can't afford not to have this in your house, but let's, let's talk about the, well, they don't have to have it in their house. They can go to a practitioner nearby. Of course. But I mean, for my, I don't want to think everybody has to listen. I have it in my home because my health is my absolute priority, but I have witnessed people coming to my office and I watch them falling apart. Yeah. And I don't want that to happen. I'm 71 years old. I don't want to fall young, apart. Doc. Don't say old. You're 71 years young. I don't care about any of that stuff. I I have a goal, and that is, to, I, it's not about living longer. It's about a quality of life. I used to do a lecture, which are you going to be dancing when you're 80? And I had right, to change it right. to, will you be dancing with, how about 70? Um, and there are just so many people my age that are, I'll just say, not spry. And you know, yes, I take care of myself, but the bed isn't as a major issue and the light therapy com- covering your every part of your body. I want to tell you there are other beds out there and here's what's unique about our bed. Number one, the canopy, that top part comes right onto the person's body. When you have too much distance, like you have things on the wall, you have the lights too far away, um, you're not going to have the same level of success. You want the lights as close to your body as possible. So that's number one. Number two, you can control separately the bottom and the top. You can pulse the wave. You can control the power of the whole overall thing. Are you suffering right now? No, I have no no pain, no suffering, nothing. No, I mean, you you look like you're upset about something. Somebody was just texting me in the background, and I'm trying to X out so I can listen to you. (laughs) Sorry. What's more exciting than listening to me, right? Dude, absolutely nothing. Talk to my wife. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> listen i love this stuff and i can go on forever i absolutely love this stuff and it, it, here's why i do it's from every other day someone calling me up or i zoom with them and they tell me stories that i didn't even know this guy with the heart attack i didn't know that he was going to tell me about that J- jessica with the infinite number of problems that she had and i didn't know she was going to talk about this i talked to this guy steve he had Lyme disease for 40 years and I mean, he was 12 when he contracted it. That means that his social life was ruined. His career yeah. was ruined. His schooling was ruined. Everything was ruined terribly. And um, so I guess we've been on a, more than an hour. I got to reset. No, no, my... no, no, no. We're at 52 minutes. We're good. You're good. I'm just, I want to make sure my phone's muted. (laughs) Sorry. Um, So 50 years, for 40 years, he suffered from Lyme disease and it ruined his life. He gets on the bed one time. He gets off the bed and he does not notice any difference at all. Five hours later and ever since, his life has changed dramatically. And so you got to watch these videos. So here, again, go to the trifectalight.com website. Go to the testimonials. And the top part of it, it'll give you an opportunity to see the the, um, the YouTube channel. Yes. And all these videos are there. And they're fantastic. I'll be linked into this video. So so, so just to wrap up, um, a couple of things. Why, why, how are, again, for not for you and me, but for people that are just general observational like how is trifecta light from a technology standpoint why is it better than all the things in the marketplace it's competing against it's the lights so when we started that many years ago 
the limiting factor was always heat. You want a lot of power without heat. That's right. not so easy. Right. So we were able to develop lights that are really strong and don't get hot. If they get hot, they dilate blood vessels, bring fluid to the surface, and block the penetration of light. So when they mix, that's why another reason I was writing the book and telling people, when you mix the lights with anything else, like vibration, or you mix the lights with heat, it's silly. You, you, you want a virgin body, cool as a cucumber, just lying there, and so we'll have great penetration. Then they can do anything they want afterwards. So if you got a patient and you're on the fifth floor and your elevator goes out and they run up the stairs because they're late, they come into your waiting room and say, I'm here to get on the bed. You can't put them on the bed. You got to wait a half an hour for their whole body, maybe maybe as much as a half an hour, just to get them so that their blood pressure is down. They're not, they don't have fluid on the surface of their body. So when they mix and combine these other things, it's again, they don't know what they're talking about. And it's the old adage that if a little bit is good, then a lot must be great. If you add the wrong things, it ain't great. Don't add vibration. Don't add heat. Don't add anything that will screw this whole thing up. It's yeah. just lights. Now, we do pulse the wave, but it's the lights that are being pulsed. We're not adding anything. No heat, no vibration, nothing else. Now they get off the bed, and depending upon what we want to do with them, we'll either put them on a whole body vibrational unit, we'll put them in a lymphatic massager, squeezer kind of thing, because yeah. we want to move the... We want to move the lymph, uh, for the, especially for the fat loss, away from the fat cells and to the liver for use or elimination. But if you're interested just in detoxing, this is a great way also. So that's why it's a whole global healing thing. We increase um, nitric oxide. We, and I, I just have to tell you one more story. Her name is Rebecca. Rebecca was suicidal, unbelievably yeah. depressed. She was going to a nurse practitioner. I interviewed that nurse practitioner. If you get a chance to watch this video, but I haven't gotten a chance to interview Rebecca next yet. But Rebecca wrote this, and I, I have it written down right here. If this is how normal people feel every day, so this was after two weeks of being on the bed uh, from a woman that was highly suicidal and so depressed. If this is how I know how normal people feel every day, I can't believe I've been missing out all this time. So it even helps not just with the physical, not with just with the weight loss, but it helps with the whole emotional and mental state of that individual. And so can you imagine me? I, I want to help people. And now I'm helping them like I can't believe. And so, you know, if you want to help people, you've got to get them in the bed, in my opinion. If you want to help them with their health, I should say, yeah, uh, yeah. you got to get them in the bed. Well, I mean, so look, my audience is, you know, a sophisticated audience. There's going to be a lot of people in my audience that are obviously clinicians that are going to put these in their practices. But for the people that are like very elite biohackers that want to put these devices in their home, I mean, you're basically saying from what you said earlier today that every other day, 12 minutes is perfect for, for all cost maintenance, health, well-being, fat loss, inflammation, suppression, better energy. I mean, is there anything that it does not take care of? <laughs> not that I know of. Uh, let me think. Um, no, I'm sure there is. Uh, you know, some people like it for the skin. The results are spectacular. The skin's amazing. Yeah, yeah. No, amazing. I, mean, I already have. I, listen, I have just like I said with the Ultra Slim. Like I had like uh, I, I don't know if they're acne marks or just skin blemishes for living 52 years of my life. But my wife even said that to me the other day. She says they're not even noticeable on your lower back anymore. No, yeah. no. You know, so some people have skin tags right. or moles on their face. Yeah, they'll they'll most typically what we're seeing is that they'll fade if not if dissolve. Uh, disappear completely unreal so i don't know i i you know would i welcome anybody excuse me i'll welcome anybody to go on the website go to the contact us page ask us any kind of question do we have a facility nearby you how do you get it and things like that but if you want to comment uh and challenge me uh, of some crazy thing that you have that you don't think we can help you with we've got a guy with l-h-o-n that's Lieber's hereditary optic neuropathy Nobody can help him. And yet now, yes, we've helped him. With the, I was talking about him with the eyes, with the, um, <clears throat> with the migraines, the pain in, behind his eyes, not being able to sleep. All of that's much, much better. So, so last point before we wrap up uh, for the clinicians. 
to chiropractors, you know, wellness, functional wellness docs, guys that the, the true healers out there that actually get it, that are not hooked to big pharma and the AMA. Um, Cause that's what they're going to ask me. Like, do you guys have a, um, you, you know, you, you called it, you said you have nine divisions, but you guys have what you uh, call a business in a box with an, with an excellent financing program that, you know, gets into their, you can embed into their uh, practice right away and, and they can start making money on this correctly right away. Correct. Listen, we include over 30 things with each purchase. You see the book behind me? Let's see, I'm going to point to this book. Stop. Oh, that book. Um, so what we've done is we've co-written a book with each one of our buyers. So we'll also co-write a book. So you will, and it'll have a different name and it'll have a different cover. And it, th this, the book is more uh, for providers, but the book we've written is for the general public, is yeah. for their patients. And so we'll have co-written a book. So they'll be able to write a little thing in each one of their new patients saying, you know, I'm so happy to have you as a patient, whatever it is. And they can hand these out. Um, and so we include that with the purchase of the book. But we also include the training, both basic training, advanced training. I have a whole crew helping with that. I have coaching. We have the marketing material. Um, we have the Facebook marketing. We, we, as we call it, business in a box, we're going to make them busy. And, and right now, I'm interviewing a lot of our practitioners just to make sure. And we're getting phenomenal feedback about how long their is, success. How long is the 450? Because you have two devices, the 300 and the 450 as beds. How long are they built to last? You know, Because that's another question that they'll ask as far as the, the guarantee, as far as like how long they before you have any kind of breakdown or you know, functional obsolescence or whatever, how long do they last? So imagine asking that question about a car. How long does a car last? Are you including the tires and the windshield wipers yeah, and all that? It's about five years, dog. <laughs> so a bed is slated to last at least five years. That's the structure. I don't know why it wouldn't last much longer than that, but that's the guarantee. It, the structure of it will last five years. The, there are certain components, like there's an acrylic shield, and that, if it's taken well care of, it can last also a very long time. But if your patients get in with their elbows first and crack it or whatever, right. it won't last as long. Right. But the structure and the lights, in the 25 years I've been involved with lights, I've never seen a light go out. So the lights are slated to last more than five years. But the warranty yeah, yeah. is five years for the shell and the, the structure of the bed and the lights themselves. Awesome. Does that answer that question? Yeah, no. It and so, if someone's interested in knowing whether five years from now it's there's an obsolescent issue, there isn't because the equipment that I have from 12, 15 years ago still is phenomenal. It's just this is even better, you know. So, they, it, 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 you know, and you could say that about anything. Should I buy the today's iPhone? Because next year they're going to come out with a new one. <laughs> it's like, you know, I would jump on board as soon as you can. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like I said, man, we're going to be also, as you know, um, writing in a, a very deep, uh, a deep dive blog slash article and analysis on the red light industry, and then you know, compare and contrast you uh, to 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 various other people in the marketplace. And look, you know, we're not fools. There are other high end, you know, red light technologies in the marketplace that also have FDA approval and clearance and blah blah blah. But uh, for the most part, most of the low end tech is not going to give you the results. And again, I am living proof for anybody that wants to dispute this and think that I'm just like, you know, promoting Dr. Rothschild because I'm in bed with them or in any capacity. I'm not number one. And number two, I want to get this, as I told you when we spoke the first time, I want to get this out to the masses. I want to get this out to the mainstream. Everyone should be using red light. Everyone should be using a high intensity focused red light and near infrared light like yours uh, offers. And like you said, I mean, there's nothing that it can't help or assist with as we age. I mean, it's absolutely mind blowing how phenomenal the technology really is. But I, I do want to object to one thing you said that you said that there are, are other pieces of equipment that are comparable to ours or whatever. I want you to understand where ours stand out. Number one, if you look at the other beds that are out there, typically they have a very high canopy. So the lights are very far away from the sure. body because they have not perfected what we have, having lights that are very strong and don't get unbelievably hot. Our bed canopy comes right onto the body. And that's a very strong 
important element. The other thing is that you can control separately the bottom bed and the canopy separately. So you can have more power going to one or the other. And we train teaching people how to incorporate that into their practice. So anyhow, okay. anything else you'd like to ask me? No, no, no. I, mean, I appreciate you saying that. And obviously, you know, when I say that, I've just seen some other higher end. There's like Medici and there's a couple other companies that, you know, offer expensive technologies. I'm not familiar with them at all. Obviously, let's really let's not them. mention names, but you'll see all of them. We know where they're made in, in China. Every right. one of them has that very high end canopy. Gotcha. I don't want to mention names. Yeah, but no, if you're yeah. going to one that has a high end canopy, that's a problem. If you're having ones that can't control the bottom and the top separately, that's a problem. If you have one that can't pulse the wave properly, right. that's a problem. I think you're the only one that does that, right? I mean, I haven't seen anyone else that pulses the wave, right? I, I can't. I don't want to answer that because I, I, I have not experienced every piece of equipment out there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I, I mean, from my research and from what me looking around, I don't think anyone else does that. All right. But nobody we'll else has all the components that we have, which is right. the canopy coming close, separately controlling, uh, pulsing the wave, controlling the power of the near infrared and red separately. Because remember, red doesn't get as strong. Right. And near infrared right. gets really strong. So you want the person, when they get out of bed, they have a comfortable experience. It should be nicely warm, not hot. If you're getting into anybody's equipment and you're feeling uncomfortable at the end, they don't know what they're doing. Either the provider who's actually doing it didn't dial in properly, if it's one of our beds, yeah. or if it's anybody else's equipment and they just don't have the right technology like we do. Doc, man, this has been profoundly eye-opening and enlightening, just as your book is. I mean, you know, I'll just first off tell people that um, if you want to understand what this can truly do, me, red, red light and near infrared light, please purchase this book. I read it in literally two days. It's a profound book. You know, my whole inner circle is also reading it right now. And, uh, you know, if you're interested, obviously go to trifectalight.com um, and you know, reach out to them, whether you're a clinician, a chiropractor, a functional wellness person, or even just a, you know, a very high level biohacker that wants to experience in this house. I mean, like I said, I can't speak highly enough. I'm, I'm just, I'm really just kind of blown away because like, I kind of had already put red light in the back, you know, it was like in the recesses of like, eh. and now I'm like, oh my God, red light. You know, one of my friends, I was going to say this during the show and I'll just say it to you and then I'll let you final get the final words is like, it's the true fountain of youth. <laughs> No, no, and and one one of the webinars that I give is is about the wording that we use is it is the fountain of youth. I believe that, but the big impact that people um, it's more than that, but it's a fountain of youth. So I mean, I don't even know where to begin or end. If you have an issue, get in the bed. In fact, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see this mug? I can. It says "Get in the bed." Uh, yeah anyhow i had my staff they they made that as a present to me because that's my attitude it's like I, I don't say shut up and get in the bed but i'm feeling that it's like okay would you just get in the bed six visits just try it you know even uh joseph mccullough says what's the worst that'll happen is nothing that's the worst. You're not going to do any damage. It's not like we say, you know, why don't we yank out their kidney? See if that'll make a difference. Why don't we chop this part of their body off? See if that, no, we're talking about six visits. Try it out. <laughs> find a location near you. If to find a location, go to Trifecta Light, go to the contact us page yeah. and tell us where you're located. And we'll try to find the closest bed. If we don't have a bed near you, then it's your job to get a bed for yourself and or for your local Health practitioner will help put it in there. Remember, every book, every bed comes with a co-written book with me and them. They don't have to do much. Um, and now they'll have a book. Just but we also include in 32 bed, things Doc. with the purchase. Just get in the bed. Get in the bed. Yeah, I got to I gotta go. Goodbye. I'm getting in the bed. <laughs> I, I, I will treat today. I haven't uh, gotten in it today yet. That's awesome, man. We'll go, we'll go ahead and do that again. I appreciate you coming on. And again, for the audience, as always support the amazing people that come on the Jay Campbell podcast. If you have not been completely blown away with the potential of using red light and near infrared light after today's podcast, what are you waiting for? Go to trifectalight.com, go on their contact page, find a clinician or a provider very close to you and do six sessions. And remember, Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. We will see all of you guys very soon.